Mm. Shalom. Shalom. Rastafari. Now, Torah studies. We want to touch on the importance of Torah study, the importance of our biblical and scriptural studies, and the importance of um, utilizing the sabbatical, in other words, in the remembrance of the Shabbat day, in the remembrance of the Sabbath day. Let's pull up here for a moment. Let's get our... Uh, Documents right here, um, and we need to bring forward our Schofield uh, for the Bible. But that's right, Torah study, right? Um, what we call the Orit, uh, in not the Orit. Ori Tanat, right? The Ori Tanat. Now, mm. what is the Torah studies, and why are Torah studies so very important for us? Now, Torah study for us as the black Hebrews or as Ethiopian Hebrews and as elect Christ the far right is vital and important for us. Make no make no doubt about it. Make no doubt about how important and vital it is for us because education is the key. And there's a half of the story that we do not know, you understand, and though we may believe or we accept, you understand, without the knowledge initially, because the belief, as we mentioned before, belief is important. Belief is important in its true, in its true context. The true context of belief, as we know, comes from the root, comes from this root right here. Amen which you know as our main, or also as my men, you know saying, my men, to accept as true, without knowledge, not having the knowledge, but accepting as true or trusting, belief, our main. Now, we know that the our main in Revelation 3 and 14 is mentioned, you know saying, the our main is mentioned in great significance, in Revelation 3 and 14. In fact, the Amen is one of Christ or the Messiah's name. You understand his ancient name, his ancient identity that in Revelation 3 and 14. But now, what's important about this Revelation quote and reference is not just the so-called ancient Egyptian Amen in a general sense, but in a specific sense to the character of the Moshiach the character of Christ, you understand, the Bain Ha Elohim, even in ancient times. And it also now puts the true Amen of ancient Egypt into its proper context. And I often like to use this um, comparison because uh, today there's many who call themselves Christians, you understand? And this is not to uh, judge any particular group or any particular denomination, but to point out that all Christians, though they may all call themselves Christian, they do not all share the same belief, you understand, or the same knowledge, and there's various different schools of thought. Now, how many schools of thought of Christianity actually agrees with Christ in spirit and in truth, in context? Now, this is not for I and I, for us, per se, to judge them as our Father as God will judge them. But he says, moreover, that Christ even says that he does not judge. You understand? But it's the word that is spirit that judges. And he says that the people do err. They are in error, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. So 
So therefore, Torah studies is essential for us, and we want to emphasize that, and we want to do this this brief um, teaching and reference on Torah study. All right, so um, grab your pen and the paper and bring a willing mind and to receive the half of the story that hasn't been told since our ancestors, the black sheep, were sold into the captivity circa 1530 A.D. So please stay tuned. More to come. Yah willing. So shalom aras teferi.